Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Silver, finally. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've done anything at all, but school really, really got to me. But I figured, let's get, let's get right into this. Let's take on a gym. Let's have some fun. So this is the first gym of Pokemon Silver, as you probably know, because it's the only gym we've seen so far. Um, but it is a flying gym. Now, most of the time when I play this game, I generally go and get a Mareep. And once you have a Mareep, this gym is pretty much a cakewalk. <laughs> because Mareep is a really, really good electric type, especially early on. Um, but I decided I don't want really want to use the Pokemon I generally use. I think I've said this before, but I I want to I want to try something new. And so far it's working out because that was pretty easy. Although I believe Faulkner, which is the gym leader, actually has a bit of a higher level of it if my memory serves. So we will see how that goes, but I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine, <laughs> but I guess we'll, we'll, we'll have to see once we get there. But hopefully I can crack these guys out pretty quick, and they're not very difficult, so it shouldn't really be a problem, especially if I keep using Cinder here. We'll be okay. Yeah, because he's burning. He is literally burning through these guys, although I am taking a little bit of damage, but I'll be okay. We'll be good. By, by the time we get get to him, we'll we'll be okay. And if need be, I'll just run back to the Pokemon Center and we'll heal up. Not a big deal. Se seconds for you guys? Pretty much still seconds for me. So hopefully we can get up to 13. That's really my goal. If I can get up to 13, this shouldn't be a problem, I hope. Hope. Although, this is taking a little longer than it should. Maybe these Pidgeys just have like burn proof feathers on them. Fireproof. Fireproof. <laughs> Anyways, we did get to level 13, so we should be fine. It's a little disappointing that we haven't had any evolutions yet, but I guess that's... Oh, I do have a potion. Let's just use a potion. Don't really need it, but do I have a berry? Because I can be in here. I do not have a berry. Never mind. I thought I, I thought if I had a berry, I could give it to Cinder and you know that whole thing. But yes, this is Faulkner. He is pretty cool. He he likes his birds. He he really likes birds. Really, really likes birds. <laughs> But to each their own, I guess. Whatever. What have we got first? Oh, we got another Pidgey. Another level 7 Pidgey. We're gonna do just fine here. Crap, I used Tackle. We may not. Well, we'll probably still be fine, but. Ooh, actually. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Accuracy down in these early Pokemon games is the worst thing. Like, the worst thing that could possibly happen. Because, for whatever reason, it looks, it feels like it goes up like two stages. Like, or it actually goes down like two stages. But here's his Pidgeotto. Oh, man. Okay, I was worried for nothing. For literally nothing. I thought his Pidgeotto was like level 15. We are fine. Also, I completely forgot what Pidgeotto looked like in this game. I really like Pidgeotto in this game. He looks really cool. Way better than he looked in blue. If you haven't seen how Pidgeotto looks in blue and red, look that up. That is... <laughs> That's a thing, alright. Anyways, this should be over right now. And we'll be able to move on with our lives. God, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I, was, I thought, man, I'm... Maybe Harvey's not really pulling his weight around here. Maybe I'm gonna have to go level him up or something. But we were okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And we got the Zephyr badge, I think. I think it's the Zephyr badge. I didn't see. Oh yeah, it is the Zephyr badge. Look at that. 
I know what I'm talking about sometimes. I remember that because I could never remember. How, or like, I, I didn't know how to pronounce Zephyr when I was, what, six when this came out? I think I was six. I think. Either way, I couldn't, I couldn't pronounce that. And he does give us mud slap, which I think is really weird for the flying gym to give us mud slap. But whatever, we're we're just gonna keep keep on keeping on. Ooh, phone call. Oh yes, this is important. <laughs> um, we actually have to go to the Poke Center. So I was just gonna cut away and be like, oh man, look at how quickly my Pokemon healed up magically, but. We got, a po uh, we got a phone call from Professor Elm, and this um, this guy is standing right beside me as I heal my Pokemon. Will give us something new to this game, which is very, very exciting for a lot of people. And I know when I, when I started doing this, it was very, very cool. Um, but if we talk to this guy, he'll be like, oh man, haven't seen you forever, give me a high five. Um, but he asks us if we want to take a Pokemon egg. So this introduces Pokemon eggs and breeding to the Pokemon series. Which, in and of itself, is very cool. Um, because they also, with getting Pokemon eggs, they also introduce getting exclusive Pokemon through breeding. Which, I've thought about doing, but, oh, jeez. Um, the Pokemon I'd want to breed, you don't get until... Re a lot later so it's just it's whatever if it happens it happens I'm pretty sure the Pokemon we get in this egg is set however if you're playing crystal it is not um, it could be any of the quote-unquote baby Pokemon in uh, in the game which I think is really cool because you, you never knew what you're gonna get in crystal which is like the third version if you haven't played crystal which, I don't know, some people have, some people haven't. I play Gold, Silver, and Crystal because Pokemon for the win. <laughs> um, I play a lot of Pokemon, but whatever. It's good. <gasps> there we go. First evolution, Cinder. Very exciting. And I was just talking about how we haven't seen any evolutions. <laughs> This is uh, Quilava. Oh man, I, I just about said Cyndaquil evolved into Cyndaquil. We're okay though. This is Quilava. I remember when my friend got, got Quilava for the first time and I was like, oh man, that's so cool. I sort of regret taking Totodile, but then we battled and, and I won because I had Totodile. <laughs> but very cool to finally have Quilava. One more step and he is oh, so good. But we won't get there for quite a while. And looks like we have the first more Rattatas. Which, with our new Palava, is not a problem. Oh yeah, not even. Not even a thing anymore. Uh, no, I won't take. I won't switch out. I'll switch out after this battle and we'll let Harvey take some, get some action here. and He'll be doing real good. Oh crap, did I pick up Pokeballs? Crap. Uh, that could be an issue. Um, I might go do that quick, if I haven't. We'll check. We'll check first. If, if I have it, then it's not an issue. But if I haven't, then we're gonna have to go pick up some Pokeballs. Because there's some Pokemon coming up I wanna catch. Let's see. Oh, we got four. Um, screw it, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are again. Just carrying on a merry way, because why the heck not? I did pick up, I picked up, I think, ten. Ten Pokeballs. Yeah, I picked up ten. And I switched Harvey out to the front, which you'll probably see right away, because there's a ton of wild Pokemon around. Which, for training up purposes, is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, although... For other purposes, it's a little annoying. But whatever. We're just facing our top tier Rattata here. 
and we'll dispatch him pretty darn quickly, and we'll get a level, which, all in all, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. There you go, level 12. Look at him, growing up so quick. Proud of you. Let's let's have this trainer battle, and excuse me, I'm getting getting comfortable. And if we finish this in a decent amount of time, maybe we'll get down to the uh, next Pokemon Center, which... Oh man, I really like the Nidoran Sprite. Um, I haven't played this game in forever, so I'm, I'm constantly reminded of all the sprites I, I really, really like. Um, but yeah, there's a Pokemon Center coming up, and if we can get down to that, then I think that's probably pretty good progress for today. Don't die, Fidgey. You're gonna get you're gonna get a good amount of experience from this. Oh yeah, 115. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good at level 12. Boosting up like a third of what he needs. So. We're so close. It is literally like <laughs> we're almost there. We are so close. Oh. Well. I didn't really want to sneak around this guy anyways, I knew we were probably going to have to fight him, so... Wooper! I love Wooper! I, Wooper's so cool. I I had to have a Wooper when I first played this game, because it's, it's freaking Wooper. I think I actually caught a couple Woopers. <laughs> For whatever reason. I, I really wish I would I, I would still have my original Pokemon Silver save file, but the batteries they put in Silver, Crystal, and Gold were just crap. And they and they died actually several years ago now, which is a little upsetting because my Silver, I had most of my Pokemon that I had for my original Pokemon game on. And I had my Mew on that. Which was when I lost that, I was pretty upset, and I and I lost my first level 100 Pokemon. Oh, Slowpoke Tail. Oh man, I wish I could have a Slowpoke Tail, but yeah, I want it. Yeah, I wish I was loaded, but with that, um, if you mean fishing rod. Sure. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we have a fishing rod too. Look at all the progress we made today. Very exciting. Um, so yeah, he's just telling us we can fish now. We're going to heal up. I'm going to say goodbye. So thank you for joining me today. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do more soon. I'm, I'm planning on recording a whole bunch right now. So there's going to be a bit of an influx of <laughs> the amount of videos on my channel. Um, so hopefully you can stick around. I'm going to try and stick around. And we're going to try and get through a good portion of Pokemon Silver. So until next time, I've been DJ Cinnabon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.